So, uh, welcome back. Um, this uh, ties into the FM challenge. Um, somebody asked me, um, how do I publish my presets, which I created for the different uh, plugins? Uh, especially, how do I r even export presets from hardware? I didn't know, so I asked on the Linux Musicians uh, forum, uh, and I got the answer, well, you can't, but Ardor saves its presets for VST plugins uh, as an XML file under um, config Ardor 5 presets. Um, well, that's great. So uh, if I want to give these uh, presets to my friend who is uh, still uh, using <coughs> um, life or something like that, mm, what do I do? Um, so it got me thinking, and I had a look at this file, which is again some custom XML. <laughs> So I created Ardor to FXP. Uh, for those who don't know, FXP is uh, something like the native uh, preset file format of, for VST2 plugins. Um, but it's a binary file. Basically, it's just a file with a header and some integers all in a row. Um, so it's uh, you can do a straightforward mapping between an outer file and an FXP file, and that's what this little program does. Uh, it's a Python program, so the easiest way to install it is with the command line I just typed in there. Download, downloads the package from. PyPy, which is the Python package index, and installs it into your um, home directory. So how do you work with this? Um, let's take this preset file, for example. And we want to output the results into this folder here. Oop, pre that's right. As a good Unix utility, if it's successful, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> so, it creates for every plugin which is in this preset file, it creates a subfolder. These were ob obviously uh, plugins for Dext. And then creates an FX. P5 for every plugin that was in that other preset file. And this works the other way around. So I um, downloaded some presets from, um, from one of the FM challenge entries. So somebody created quite a few plugins for OxyFM. So uh, let me clear that. So I choose to FXP other output folder presets test two. And this is different because each FXP file contains only one plugin. So I pass several files at once and it turns that into one other uh, uh, preset file for each plugin. Uh, test two. There we go. And let's try this. Oh, before we do that, so we don't have a other preset plugin file for this plugin yet. The, the numbers here 
they are the sort of like the plugin ID. So we copy the output from our FXP to other. Uh, to the other config directory. You could have specified that directory in the first place uh, at the command line above, but uh, I wasn't sure if there already was a file for that plugin. So let's start other. I already created a little test project which only has one track with OxyFM loaded as a VST plugin. Oops. And you access the presets in Ardour with this little drop down menu here. These are all the uh, factory presets. I think there's 256 in OxyFM or something like that. Uh, but here are all the new presets we imported. And in this case, uh, the person who created the presets didn't name them <laughs> rather cleverly, but you can see that uh, there's a few different ones in there. And they do actually work. So, concluding, uh, if you create any presets for other for VST plugins, or if you work with a, a propriety DHW and you create presets for VST plugins, there's now no excuse anymore to not exchange them with the rest of the world and also the open source world. Thank you very much.